Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420 and today we're going to talk about celebrities throwing us under the bus because they no longer smoke weed. <laughs> and what I'm talking about specifically is uh, Woody Harrelson and Miley Cyrus. So both of these people recently quit. Um, Woody Harrelson did an interview about three months ago with USA Today where he talked about he quit smoking weed and the reasons he gave was because after 30 years of solid partying, he felt that cannabis was keeping him from being emotionally available. Uh, so basically I've experienced a little bit of that myself. So when that happened for me was when I was dabbing real heavy from the moment I woke up to when I went to bed, you know, I would dab every couple of hours. I would treat dabs the way people treat weed. Um, and, and what it did to me was it threw me for a fucking loop straight up. Like I ended up having to go to a, uh, a therapist just because I was like, I don't feel like myself. I feel depressed. I feel like I can't think. I feel like I'm always in a fog. Um, I'm always tired. I, you know, I say that I need this for sleep, but then in the morning I, I, I wake up and I, I can't go around or do anything, you know, and of course I didn't tell the doctor that because the first thing I do when I woke up was I take a fat rip and throw myself right back into the same cycle I just went to sleep from. Um, so I guess what I'm talking, what I'm trying to say here is like, <clears throat> I, I've experienced it and I know that yes, it can make you that way, but I've also experienced it enough to understand that that is caused by your own personal behavior. Um, the second that I stopped having all day, um, and now the only time I really smoke is in the afternoon. Sometimes I smoke in the mornings, but that's really if I wake up five o'clock, four o'clock, um, way before I even have to go do anything. And that's in the hopes <laughs> that I can go back to sleep for an hour or so. Um, it doesn't always work out. But um, outside of that, I don't really smoke throughout the day. As a matter of fact, like right now, I'm not high. I couldn't talk to you guys this way if I was. It's just the way my body reacts to cannabis. I know that. And because I know that, that's why I smoke the way that I do. That's why my entire channel is geared the way that it is because um, I know I can't be the only one. <laughs> I Well, I, I know that now and I, I definitely knew that when I got started or I knew that when I got started, but I definitely know it now. Like I'm not the only person who smokes this way. Number two, and the one that really threw us under the bus was Miley Cyrus. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and play a little bit of uh, her interview with Jimmy Kimmel. And then you guys can, I'm not even gonna tell you guys what I think about what she says outside of the fact that I think that she really threw us all under the bus. You, you stopped smoking weed? I did. And you know what? I, I was just saying that you, without knowing it, were kind of a reason for this. Um, because I've always been very stoned on your shows. I don't know if you know this, everybody. Um, so, yeah. It's weird that, to that be makes, here. That makes two of us. Yeah, yeah there yeah. you go. <laughs> Remember the last time I was here, I think I was dressed as like a bunny rabbit. Yes, and then were. like a cat. There's uh -huh. a reason for that. Yeah, I was uh -huh. high. Okay. Um, she says that, you know, she... It kept her from doing anything that it was the reason at one point she even says you know I used to dress real crazy remember I came in here dressed like a bunny and I was being all weird and blah 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 well the weed was the reason why so instantly everybody in the audience is like oh okay so the reason she was so crazy for two years is because she was just being a crazy stoner are you serious weed doesn't make you act like that you make yourself act like that the second that you like Oh, I have an excuse now. The same way that, you know, you take a couple shots and all of a sudden some things can happen because it was the alcohol. <laughs> um, and, and that's the thing is cannabis isn't like that. Cannabis doesn't make you act weird. You're fully in control of yourself the whole time you're high. Um, you may, if you're a complete novice and you end up like having a edible or something, you might get green sick where you like go throw up or you feel like you're gonna die, but you never really do. <laughs> um, so that can happen. But aside from the rest of it, I feel like she was just, she she perpetuated every single stereotype um, in order to to regain her her, her wholesome uh, look. I want to sound as smart as hopefully I, you know, think that I could be and really explain what I'm, what I'm doing. And, you know, I really just want to sit at home and eat basically when i'm stoned yeah and so i don't think it was fair and, and i was wondering uh if you guys could tell me what you think leave it down in the comment section do you think that these people by doing these things and saying these things about cannabis and then not making it clear that 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 was all these things happened because they personally chose to ingest cannabis in the way that they did um and instead they just made a blanket statement about weed like everybody else 
Um, do you think that hurt the cause? Do you think it helps? Do you think it's none of my business? Um, I just want to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down in the comments section. So before we go or before I take off, I want to mention something else I'm really excited about. Um, so I get to start doing reviews for Respect My Region uh, starting this month, I believe. Um, and they did this really cool little like uh, piece or, or they wrote a little like blog entry about me. Um, <clears throat> so it's really dope. Um, it just... I feel like it's the small sign of validation that I've been like grinding my ass off for. Um, it doesn't really change anything for me, you know, like my life isn't going to drastically change or anything, but I'm just really excited to get to join a crew of people who are following something that they've been pursuing for years um, and, and that they're letting me come in and be a part of that is just, you know, it's amazing and I'm just thankful for the opportunity. Um, and and I, so I definitely want you guys to go check them out. Um, I'll leave the link in the description for the, uh, to the article. Ah, that's what it is. It's an article. Um, <laughs> so I'll leave a link in the description to the article. But yeah, I'm really excited. I, I don't know if I'm going to be doing one review like a week or if it's going to be like two a week or what it's going to be. Um, we're still working out the details, but uh, I'm really, really excited. And uh, yeah, definitely go check that out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, <clears throat> and keep an eye keep an eye out for me on uh, Respect My Region's website. Once again, this has been Recreational420. If you guys enjoy what I'm doing, go ahead and hit that sub button. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure to follow the page. And I'll be back again with you guys soon.